back to our story. As we talked about earlier, you want to find out if enough people in the city support people having pet tigers, and you want to get a sample. The mathematician you're talking to asks you a question. Which of the following suggestions do you think is better? A. Put up a survey on your city's social media accounts and ask people to indicate if they approve or disapprove of pet tigers. B. Stand out in front of a grocery store and ask the first hundred people you run into whether they approve or disapprove of pet tigers. Choice C. Stand out in front of Ernie's Exotic Pet Store and ask the first hundred people you run into whether they approve or disapprove of pet tigers. And D. Get a list of everyone's name in the city and put a different number beside each name, like 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., and then randomly pick a hundred of those numbers. For example, 7, 251, 6,305, 84, etc. And then contact those people and ask them whether they approve or disapprove of pet tigers. So, once again, the mathematician asks you which of those do you think is the better way to sample. Go ahead and take a moment to think about it and decide. And it might even be a good idea to pause the video at this point. All right, you've made your choice. Now, let's hear the mathematician discuss each choice. Choice A. Put up a survey on your city's social media accounts and ask people to indicate if they approve or disapprove of pet tigers. Things like online surveys or email surveys, etc. are pretty popular and often done, but they're actually not very reliable at all. Lots of people don't bother, and many surveys are only responded to by those who voluntarily chose to. And usually those are people who are strongly passionate about the issue, whether strongly for it or against it. Anyway, it just won't get a representative sample and usually isn't very reliable at all. This is called volunteer sampling, as people will need to voluntarily choose to respond, or otherwise you won't know what they think. Choice B. Stand out in front of a grocery store and ask 100 people you run into whether they approve or disapprove of pet tigers. This is often done as well, as it's a very convenient way to get responses. However, that's the problem. It's too convenient. Only a portion of the population actually goes to that store, so you miss out on the chance of asking all the other people who don't go there. Anyway, this is called convenience sampling, as it's, well, convenient. <laughs> Choice C. Stand out in front of Ernie's Exotic Pet Store and ask 100 people you run into whether they approve or disapprove of pet tigers. Well, this is another convenient sample again, as it's a convenient way to get responses standing outside a store's door. But it even goes one step further. It is outside a pet store, which specifically deals in exotic and strange pets, like tigers. <laughs> so the people outside that pet store are more likely to favor pets and exotic ones, like tigers. So the sample is going to have a lot of bias. That is, it's going to favor a certain response. Another example of bias would be if someone did an online survey for this on the social media accounts of a pet store. <laughs> that would give bias as well. Choice D. Get a list of everyone's name in the city and put a different number beside each name and then randomly pick a hundred of those numbers and then contact those people and ask them whether they approve or disapprove of pet tigers. This is actually a fantastic way to do this. And the reason is that it gives everyone in the population an equal chance of getting selected. It's perfect that way. This is called random sampling, as it's entirely random, it covers everyone in the population, and everyone has the same chance of getting selected. So it gives a perfect sample. Wow, that was so helpful, you say, and you thank the mathematician for taking the time to help you out. And you now feel totally confident in proceeding with your survey. And you once again begin dreaming of what it's going to be like having a pet tiger. And how it'll get along with all of the other pets you have at home. 